That's the the food stuff. That's that's where it would just throw me off. I would yeah. never survive. Wouldn't be able to, you could lay in a pit of snakes. I, yeah, they wouldn't bite you. Like, yeah. The thing is, they they're not venomous. Well, I mean, you figure they, it's like more, they've got to have like insurance and like an, you know somebody that are like anti venom right there. Yeah. So, I mean, well, they don't even the put you in is, with poisonous snakes. Yeah, exactly. So. They, it costs too much money. It's just snakes. Yeah. Are you but not afraid of snakes? I mean, I wouldn't want to do it, but like if you knew they can't like really hurt you. Yeah. It's but if but if I have to eat for a live money, cow but you know liver, like a spider like, can't hurt you and when you see it running through your apartment you freak out, right? A live cow I mean, liver. No, like, 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 they pull no, it out, you you pull it out of the cow. Yeah. I have to live with <laughs> you have to grab yeah. it out. Yeah. Yeah. I have to live with that in my head forever. Like Many no, I can't you can't fix that. Right. of this reality show. Peta is pissed. They're on the way right now. We got to get out of here. More like eat 18 Arby's roast beef sandwiches without vomiting. That's a challenge. Oh. All right. Next time on Fear Factor. Or just those buffalo chicken wraps. Scoops of that cheese, you know. Tune in next week to Trends with Benefits to find out who throws up. All right. Let's. uh, (laughs) White Castle versus Arby's. This is a weird start to the show. Hello, everybody who's tuning in right now. This is Trends with Benefits. This is our weekly roundtable podcast where we talk about everything that's going on in the world of tech this week. We're broadcasting live on Facebook and YouTube right now. And then, of course, going up as a podcast afterward. And we've got a bunch of things we're going to get to today. We're going to talk about how. Alexa is everywhere, and I realized um, after we did a show about Alexa a few weeks ago just how much it screws up everybody who has an Echo device in their in their room while they're watching this podcast. So I apologize, Alexa. Um, what happens if you're listening s- to the podcast on an Echo speaker? Oh, whoa! <laughs> that would override it. Though, that's just that's pretty something meta. would be coming out of it, right? It's oh. pretty meta. <laughs> <laughs> but that Super Bowl commercial like messed with everybody's Echoes, right? Yeah, it did. Totally did. Yeah, you can change the wake word on your Echo. Oh, that's true. To that's Echo true. or Computer. Oh, those are the only two you have? I think those are the only two options. Besides oh, well, that's boring. Okay. That boring. I live with an Alexa, so I can't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. true. So yeah. you have to change it. Let's try something. It. Alexa, play Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. Okay, we'll see how many people, how many uh, people just got a Rick Astley. <laughs> so we've got that that we're going to be talking about. Uh, we will get to that, all the Alexa stuff. We've got some iPhone 8 updates. And we're going to talk about... Uh, IFA, which is the big conference that's going on over in Germany right now. I always forget how to pronounce what exactly IFA is. It's International Farfenstellung. <laughs> Farfenstellung. <laughs> Telefunkenastellung or yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's CES of Europe, basically. <laughs> we'll just go with that. Um, <laughs> and I'm Greg Nibbler. We're going to introduce our cast here, but I did want to just point out that we do have a question up on Facebook, and it has to do with something that was announced at IFA, and it's from Lenovo. It's a standalone... AR, augmented reality headset, that comes complete with a Star Wars game in which you get to actually hold a lightsaber in the augmented reality game and you can fight Kylo Ren and Darth Vader and I think it's amazing. Okay, and let's... Uh, Star Wars kid. Yeah, yeah, basically. That's pretty much exactly it. But let's let's introduce our cast here, so let us know what you think of that. Uh, to my right. My name is Rick Stella. I run the outdoor section here for DT. Excellent. And I don't think I would buy an AR headset just to play Star Wars. What? Okay, you're crazy. But uh, <laughs> so it's, it's under $200 on top of that. It is two hundred dollars. It, it is two hundred dollars. Yeah. It uh, is okay. So it is two hundred dollars. Yeah. No, I know so. someone in here will buy one, so I'll just play theirs. Okay. Well, all right. I can. I can understand that. Well, well. Okay. I'm going on down. <laughs> uh, I am Brandon Witter. I'm the strategy editor at Digital Trends, and I also would not buy it. A couple of boring people in here. Wow. This, yeah. Right. This podcast. Continue on down. <clears throat> I'm not going to do it in the voice this time. <laughs> oh, come on. Then, all right. Has Brandon heard the it? The Whiskey Mist. The Whiskey Mist. Caleb um, Dennis and us. <laughs> the Whiskey Mist. Uh, I refer to myself in the third person, the editorial. Um, <clears throat> I, I, just because these guys said they won't, I will, because I know they want to play it. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> they're, they're, problem solved. they're too <laughs> cheap to spend out. the money, so yeah. I'll buy it for everybody. I'll charge it to the corporate account, and then we can all enjoy it. Love it. That's all right. Well, let's get that taken like care it. of. Well, that's <laughs> that's one of the things I should say too. Since Caleb is the whiskey mist, last week uh, Ryan was in here, and we gave him a different nickname. Now I think he's the gin. Um, God, what, what was happened it? to Pornhub Twenty Seven? Por- I know Pornhub Twenty Seven is still that still counts. But he's now he's, now he's in AKA. I think it was Gin uh, Do or something like that. I have to check Gin Cloud. I'll have to make sure. I'll find out what exactly what it was. I feel like anyway. he's piggybacking off the whiskey mess, and I feel like tw- Pornhub 27 is just, that's Ryan when he did. Okay, so that's what it's, it's got to stick to. Uh, okay, we really need to stick to, to the oddballs. We have a yeah. hot nozzle for crying out. We do nozzle, have a hot yeah. nozzle. Yeah. All right, well, well, we'll see where that ends up. We'll have to have a fight over it. Um, all right, let's talk, uh, let's talk about this. Though. So it's Lenovo and...
their, their standalone headset. You know, augmented reality is really getting a big push right now, I think, with, um, well, the Windows mixed reality platform that came out. You can read all about that, Digital Trends. Essentially kind of pushing forward a lot of, a lot of stuff into uh, VR and AR, opening it up to a lot of third-party companies. This is part of a mobile app. So the Lenovo system is a standalone headset you would buy that you can plug your phone in. It's got a list of a bunch of different phones it'll work with. Oh, she's ready. <clears throat> now, it comes specifically, <laughs> they partnered with Disney for the exclusive Star Wars Jedi Challenges. Um, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> is, yes. is the game that comes with it. It's got a lightsaber. It's like a stick. Ba- it's got, it's got, a, got a hilt. Thank you. Yes. And uh, when you put on the air glasses, oh, you can essentially fight Darth Vader in your living room. I think it's amazing. Um, now we are showing, yes, yeah, Star Wars Kid video because that's <laughs> Basically, <clears throat> that song that would essentially be raise this to reality. So good, yeah. That would essentially uh, be. Like, well, did you say Jedi challenges? Uh, <laughs> bring it on! <laughs> <laughs> and I think though it's a it's an awesome idea. I wow! <laughs> apparently, I may be in the minority, and that's what I want to know from everybody who's listening. Like, would you pay two hundred bucks? Obviously, you're going to be able to do other things with it as well. Thanks for Greg's mom for sending that video in. Um, <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> uh, am I qualified to enter this discussion since I haven't even seen the movie yet? Like well, you haven't seen which, any. Which, what? No, I haven't seen them. No. You haven't. Which one? Well, that's Star Wars kid. Movie. I haven't seen. I haven't. No, I haven't seen the, the Force Awakens, Force Awakens gotcha. or Rogue One. Wait, have you seen any of the other Star Wars movies? Well, don't, yeah. Don't Keith Nelson okay. right now. The yeah. door's over yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> I'm out. Uh, no, I haven't I haven't seen it yet, so I don't even okay. really know who Kylo Ren is, and right now I'm sure I'm getting flamed on the uh on Yeah, the I'm going to make sure that that does, uh, <laughs> that does happen. Of course um, you are. <laughs> have you seen anything with Adam Driver in it? Uh... Do you know who Adam Driver Baby is? Driver? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I know yeah. who he is. And, uh, Adam yeah, Adam Driver with a helmet? Yeah. Okay. So is that all it is? Yeah, right <laughs> now. Now I really want to go see the movie. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, anyway. All right, getting it back. AR goggles playing. How is this not just a Wii game with the, right. like, the, the a, screen on your face? Well, because you have the is screen it, and you can is, see it overlaid in your living room. Is it wireless? Yeah, but yeah, unless your living room looks game, like uh, the yeah, deck wi- of the Death Star. How cool is that? Like, yeah. I... Have you seen my furniture? Like Darth Vader, <laughs> against, some Darth Vader against my couch or my freaking gray, you know, frigid air uh, refrigerator. That's not cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> it doesn't do anything for me at all. You put it on. He's in there. Like, it what? breaks now, immersion when you have. Yeah. Go, if yeah. I could go outside, like to the the park downtown, yeah. and do that stuff in front of a bunch of people, and you make can. Them, yeah, I, I, yeah, you end up just hitting. A is it mobile? Yeah, it's yeah, mobile. yeah. It's it's all in a phone. I guess part of the how it works, and again, all this, all the details. What's right, that little pink orb then? There's something you place on the ground that uh, so there's that I believe it's that orb right there that that helps it recognize where you are. So it's that Palantir. Yeah, thank you. Brandon knows more than I do about that's this. That's definitely yeah, the orb. Shoves orb yeah. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that helps that helps you know it, it spatially know exactly where you are. So I think you could take it anywhere. But it, it requires no wires. It's wireless. No wires. It's uh yeah just, just on batter- smartphones. Smart. So batteries then what powers like the. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. You may need batteries for it. I don't yeah, know. This, That's the that deal would be breaker. It's funny seeing you go to a park and it's like the new Tai Chi in the park, but you're just out there with like, your lightsaber. <laughs> you know? like, Disney also announced a virtual reality game, too, a Jedi game, recently, like last month. They would be smart to capitalize on any and all things. Which you could fight Darth Vader on, like, Mustafar. Oh, we'll see. That's, Not that's something. Way better than your couch, Caleb's right? Living room. <laughs> Which is a popular setting in Star Wars, Caleb's living room. <laughs> <laughs> that's where it all goes down. Yeah. Well, that's, anyway, something I was excited about from it, so uh, we'll see. As we're all just <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> shitting. <laughs> the it's just one. too gimmicky. It's just too gimmicky. It's too Sorry. gimmicky. All right, I think it's a great use of it, but uh, we'll agree to disagree. But um, Lenovo did say they were going to develop stuff after they release it for the platform. Yeah, too, so yeah. So there'll be more. It's not just for Star it's not Wars. Just Currently, for Star Wars. it will be at launch. You get it? Yeah, at launch for for the two hundred dollars to get Star Wars yeah. with it. Um, all right. Well, we'll. Anyway, that's up there. You can take a look at that at <laughs> digitalchats.com. What are people saying? Are people saying they would buy it? Or uh, no, some... everybody's agreeing with you. Can yeah. we link those? Everybody, Star nobody Wars wants to buy it. Two hundred dollars on this, and I've spent six bucks on batteries. Deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> all caps. That guy's not happy about batteries. Yeah, yeah. So there's uh, the comments are yeah. Everybody's kind of in a, in agreement that. They're not going to buy it. Um, so I'll be the one uh, that buys it. So Lenovo, if you want to send that to me, that'd be great. <laughs> the real um, world is better is what one guy said. On there. <laughs> Are you talking about the show or like not AR world? <laughs> like, go outside, Greg. <laughs> Sunshine, will you, kid? <laughs> Seriously. I saw some people LARPing in the park the other day. Oh, yeah. That does happen. Do people so. still do that? You LARPing do that is real. Yeah, yeah. good. 
Yeah, well, maybe that's what I'll go do then, out of spite. <laughs> so, <laughs> Best of both worlds. Right, we've got some other stuff to get to, though. Talking about IFA just right now, a couple of other things that uh, happened. We've got some phones to get to, and especially the uh, LG V30, which is the new flagship phone from LG. Uh, Digital Trends got their hands on it. I think Julian actually did a video um, kind of showcasing some of the aspects of it. I'm an LG fan. I've had LG phones since I don't know how long... Um, how long I've had it, I, like for years. Sorry, I'm just adjusting something here with the camera as I'm getting a note. Um, uh, but uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely an LG fan. So you I have one like right this. Now? I have one right now. I go through them about every year because I buy the cheap ones and I break them. Right. But I do, I do, I do appreciate their uh, phones. Um, the LG V30. I don't know I, if you guys got a chance to take a look at it, see what features were. We do have the video of it that we can show. Um, OLED go screen, back to an OLED screen. Standard. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's nice. Uh, bezel is, they've got a bunch of new camera features. This was, they've got the dual camera in the back, uh, wide angle and, uh, and a smaller one. Um, so it has a headphone jack. Has a headphone jack. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, Sold. Done. Which is pretty amazing. The headphone jack yeah, is kind of a big sweet. deal. No, it does. It supports all kinds of different high res audio too. Um, hmm. that title actually is going to deploy a true high res audio. Like right now it's CD quality, which is better than everybody else. Right. Sure. But, uh, and that's great, but they're also going to, uh, get into this new thing called Les. MQA. That's freaking Les. Les. Hey, Les. <laughs> That's such a meta photo right there. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Someone else with a camera taking a photo of Les on the phone. Who on is the, the phone. photography Who's taking it? Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Wow. Anyway, uh, high-res audio. Uh, Title's going to deploy uh, something called MQA, which is a different kind of high-res audio. And, I mean, the V20 sounded awesome already, but... Yeah. The V30 is also going to support that. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of like getting HDR, you know, for your TV or something like that. But okay. uh, streaming music for your phone. Uh, so the people who are, you know, like snobs like me <laughs> when it comes to the sound quality, it's going to sound really, really good. I'm kind of stoked. I want to check that phone out. Would you go away from iPhone though? Um, see, I wrestled with that with the V20. <laughs> Fanboy. And I, I'm so <laughs> not a fan well, And so do I. <laughs> All three of us are sitting here with iPhones. It's the three iPhones versus that one LG boy over there. You know, yep. um, this uh, I, I've already run into trouble. You know, I was supposed to uh, put on some background music at a wedding the other day and realized, oh crap, I can't. Now I can go get the dongle, and that's you know, that's true, that though. problem. That's but a, it's the yeah. that's it, a real pain. It was the first. It was the first real. Um, issue that I ran into with uh, with the seven plus here. Otherwise, I really I really dig the phone. So I know I'm st I'm too entrenched in the iPhone universe. All my apps are already downloaded, and there's the tons way. of personal yeah. data in there. And it's just I'm too deep now. This I feel like at so a is there just no getting out for you. There's no way that you would switch. They from would it. have to do something epically stupid and crappy to uh, to you know get me to jump ship. Like I'm, nobody's going to lure me away from the iPhone. <clears throat> excuse me, but mm -hmm. I I suppose that iPhone could like repulse me enough that I would jump <laughs> so ship. But they took the headphone jack out and you still bought one. Yeah. About 2 years ago and I mean they this is about they're going to announce a new one on the 12th I imagine. Uh-huh. Apple's having an event and which will swallow up the V30. I, I bet, right? Maybe. Like, we'll see. They've never made audio a big priority. Um, I'd like to see the um, the OLED screen become a standard, though. I, I just don't think people care about the high res audio. Well, and that's what they say. I'm their their yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I know I'm so in the minority on that. Yeah, which is fine, but I just don't think the people that are gonna like the droves of people that always pre order and buy iPhones do not care one bit about. Yeah. They're gonna buy it no matter what it exactly. is. Exactly. This yeah. sh shoots 4K video, right? Uh, yes, yeah, I think everything does, does now. It's standard in some way. Yeah. Yeah, for the LG V30. Yeah. Um, I'll verify that, but I, I believe it does. Sexy so, phone, though. Sexy. Phone. I I think it's I think it's great. I mean, I think of any of the new phones that have actually come out recently with the Galaxy and the, uh, the Samsung phone and the um, Google's new phone. I think this is probably the one I would I would actually buy. You mm. wouldn't chance it with the Note Eight. I don't the think I'm going to chance it with the Note Eight. Successor to the famously exploding phone. Right. I mean, so far so far no explosions that I've heard of. Um, but yeah, I think LG V30. That would probably be the one I would pick. Although, like you said, the iPhone is what a lot of people are going to go for. And that's what we can talk about right now. The iPhone 8, we do have the release date. It is for sure going to be September 12th. Uh, it looks like that they're going to announce it. It's going to be on campus. Um, Apple's special event uh, is what it is. Uh, September and probably 12th releasing at shortly after the 12th. They always usually do. Yeah, that, they, right. They, yeah, they, yeah. Or now it's September. Announce, I guess. Yeah. 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 Release, so. yeah. There's and there's been some speculation about. Um, right now we're showing some conjectures as far as what it might be. I think that was actually somebody who got a hold of supposedly um, the specs on it and then created their own version of what they think the iPhone 
the new one is going to look like. So there's all kinds of rumors that have been out there. I mean, we all know this for, for months. I, I'm shocked to learn that it looks a lot like a phone. <laughs> it does look like a phone. That You're is one for thing. something different? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just, if we do this every year, you guys. Every it's like, year. What's and it going to look like? What's going to look like? You know, Surprise, it looks like a phone. In, in, in November. <laughs> an iPhone specifically. In yeah. November, we're going to talk about rumors for the next iPhone. Yep. You know? In November, it's going to kick off like after the release. Of the right. Next one. Yeah. It's just so <laughs> soon after the phone release, people are like, oh, no, what's coming in iPhone 11 or whatever the next one is or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, and right now, I mean, the latest things are that it's going to have facial recognition, that they are going to go with that. Um, again, we're not going to know for sure until this comes out. At, at this point, it, it's almost to me like a movie that they've released way too many trailers for, and then the hype is just so big. I'm like, I don't even know how they can meet the hype, although they probably Fast will. Fast and the Furious always makes so yeah. much money whenever they release. <laughs> that was after the Fast and the Furious of the phone world. <laughs> it's yeah. true. You know, like they... <laughs> so they're going to get Vin Diesel in there, well, I'm Vin sure. Vin Diesel is going to be like 85 and still milking that franchise. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And more power to him. I mean, people keep paying for it. Hey, people keep paying for Paul Blart movies. <laughs> so... <laughs> you got a good point there. That is a good point. Um, so, <laughs> oh, yeah, Dan is saying they already had The Rock for their video. So The Rock is already so in there. Well, the right. They are. There. Yeah, they're jumping in that. So now we know Apple is the uh, fast and furious of the of the phone world. Um, but, yeah, the, the iPhone. <laughs> Something like that. iPhone 8. Uh, or they, we still don't even know exactly what it's going to be called. Either it's iPhone 8, iPhone X, iPhone Edition. We've had a million different names. The iPhone Edition. This is the 10-year anniversary. It was like the right? decade it's the edition. 10-year so anniversary. It's not a boy band. I know. <laughs> Come on. We are iPhone Edition. <laughs> new Edition. Isn't that a boy band? <laughs> yeah. New, uh, edition. new Edition, yeah. That's Bobby I mean, Brown. Yeah, I say that's yeah. old school. Yeah, yeah. Bell, isn't Bell Biv DeVoe's in New Edition? Okay, we don't have to go into that, but I'm pretty sure I'm that's confused what confused <laughs> about my '80s boy band. <laughs> <laughs> there was a great New Edition joke in Master of None in season two. Anyways, we can continue on. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we'll get back to that. So yeah, by the way, it's Master really hot in here if you're watching live right now. So I think slowly our brains are all melting as oh, we're yeah. as we're doing this. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to break the fourth wall right there and let you know. Uh, so the, the iPhone 8, um, yeah, September 12th, that's when we're going to find out. What, what, is a, what is one feature they could add other than maybe bringing the headphone jack back that, that you would – I don't know if they will I can't not. imagine they will. I feel like if they think they've doubled down away, on they're this. they're just going to go forward with it. Yeah, it's also supposed to cost like 1000 bucks. Oh, it's a 1000 bucks. Isn't that what they said? Uh, Nine ninety nine, I think, is what, the, what they're estimating for the base price. And then, um, then, then just goes up from there. Other phone manufacturers have started taking the headphone jack out, right? Isn't there another phone manufacturer that did? Is it Samsung there or is? Sony? I think or somebody Google did. was rumored to be doing it. Um, somebody took a, the headphone jack out. Yeah, and kind of followed the lead on that. Yeah. I still think that's a that's a bad idea, but if, if that's where everything ends up going, fine. But I think it's too premature. I don't know if there's anything yeah. like I. I feel like I'd get everything out of my phone that I yeah. need. Like I don't think there's any one thing I'm like. What would make you want to? Is that the, the iPhone? Which one like is the that? Six or something. Six. Okay. Yeah. The one thing I'd like to see, which we probably won't get, is battery life. Yeah, I like. Sure. I want that more than anything else. I don't want a, a battery that lasts a day or even a day and a half. I want something that lasts three or and four And that's days. not really a phone development. That's a battery tech development. Yeah. Like yeah. We, we need a new battery technology to be affordable and feasible that can go into a phone and really extend the life. And because, not blow I mean, up. You, exactly. Yeah. The <laughs> not blowing up part is very important. Um, but yeah, as long <laughs> as we're using lithium ion batteries, there's only so much you can do with it. And like the, unless you want a big thick fat ass phone you know it's mm -hmm. it's only yeah. gonna last for so long in going hand in hand with that i would like to see wireless charging yeah i'd like to just throw and my phone down and have it charge i mean it's definitely a first world thing but i'd like to see it yeah and that is one yeah. thing that they're they're talking about that it would have i think that would be a really cool feature yeah um because there's that other wireless charging tech that works in an entire room too that uh, that is going to be rolling out where you can put something basically they were showing it like showcasing it in a coffee shop where you put this device on the ceiling and it'll cover every device in the room yeah, that's with wireless charging. All over. oh yeah that's, <laughs> <I know. laughs> there's something bad is going to happen from that but I'd still want it. I'd still use it. I mean, at this point, I think we're, that's that's uh, kind of like something else. We're we're too deep in this. What about this high res audio? <laughs> you, no, I'm serious. Would you upgrade for high res audio on, on the next? Well, iPhone? are you going to upgrade anyways? Well, I know I'm probably going to upgrade. I you know, um, I I just got this seven plus, so I'm not upgrading to anything. Um, and uh, and you know, no, I'm not upgrading. I'll wait. I'll upgrade to the next phone when the next phone comes out. Yeah. Because yeah. it always drops in price, and it's cheaper. And, um, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> they kind of stopped doing the uh, 
uh, planned obsolescence thing uh, on such a short term. Like, still, you're not going to keep your phone much longer than three or four years. Right. Some people do, but to see them hobbling along, it's almost painful, you know. But uh, I mean, I, I figure this thing's going to last me a good long time. I do have a buddy who just got rid of his iPhone four. So, yeah. they, so there are we have people, people on staff with iPhone four. Drew has like an iPhone four. Yeah. Or he did. I can't like my six is. I've had this for about two and a half years, and this is slowing down so much. It's like yeah, I, mean, I have crazy. a six too. Yeah. I mean, do I'm they even even provide any updates for that at this point? You yeah. can get I mean, the iPhone six, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But the, like the iPhone four, do they? The oh, four no. you can't anymore. It okay. also yeah. would it also would brick it too. I think they told you like don't upgrade yeah. to like the latest because it would just like make it so slow. I think Drew down. literally uses his as a uh, paperweight. <laughs> Kid you not. All right, I could see. Yeah, <sighs> I could see that. I mean, there's well, probably somebody <laughs> online you could sell that to. Also, somebody would buy it just because. Yeah, just because it's an iPhone. I'll so, tell you what would really sell me on a new phone, and we can close this topic. Mm -hmm. If it was so powerful that it could act like uh, as the the CPU for a little portable laptop, like you know, you okay. Full open, you know, you can do this with a uh, tablet now. You can kind of put the tablet on a keyboard and isn't and that kind of what Samsung? There is a phone that can do that. I forget which uh, one. Well, it was. I think it, I thought it was a Samsung. The S8 but, has yeah. this whole docking station thing that you can use, and it it kind of gets there, but it's mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. It's it's sort of like I can't figure out if I'm a, a desktop or a or a phone OS. You know, um, I I'd, I'd, I'd like to see somehow Mac, iPad, iPhone all just become one. Device does that one, make sense? One like cohesive unit for yeah, the, where you just the chip plug in your it to phone be in. so powerful that it can uh, do more complex tasks, uh, keep a hub, whole bunch of tabs open, and just really, I don't know, kind of take the laptop down a, a notch or two. I that's a great idea. I mean, that is something that would make the price more powerful. more understandable. If yeah. you could use it for more than just yeah. a phone, because right now a thousand dollars, I mean, that is a lot for a phone. And granted, you have it on you all the time. I just don't know if I can justify that with put it, you know getting something less expensive and putting that money into a laptop. But so that, that's a good the idea. MacBook Pros you can get one for like I think sixteen hundred dollars <clears throat> that would last yeah. you well over two years. Right. Um, I'm taking a look here just at, at some of the comments that were coming through. Uh, let's see uh, on YouTube, uh, stylus was one of the things that, that somebody mentioned here that uh, would would be something they want to see in the new iPhone. I don't use the stylus very much, so I don't. It doesn't you really can, do a whole lot for me. You can Apple use can. a stylus in the Plus. I mean, you can, can you? Just use a stylus. You can get one. I don't know. Maybe there's maybe, maybe it's something different. The well, iPad the... Pro comes with one, you know, and then that's kind of the Note, the Samsung Note thing. Have, you know, having a mm -hmm. stylus and be able to write with it. I know that um, Matt Smith, computing editor here, uses a, a stylus on his, um, uh, it's that convertible. Surface? Yeah, surface. on his Surface. You know, those things yeah. apparently are a big deal. I've yeah, never and, used one. And maybe it's just I haven't used it, so I haven't realized, you know, maybe what I'm the missing potential. out or what the, yeah, what the potential is on it. Well, anyway, that's the iPhone 8, so we'll be talking about that a lot more, I'm sure, leading up to September 12th. Um, let's get to our, our final couple of topics here. I wanted to talk about Alexa and just how much... It is, it, you know, Alexa really is getting put into almost every kind of device that you can think of. Um, but beyond that, uh, you know, there's a bunch of new devices at IFA. Beyond that, this was kind of a surprising announcement to me in that Amazon and Microsoft announced that they have been working together to get Alexa and Cortana to be uh, kind of a cohesive system, an interchangeable system that will work with each other where you can say, Alexa, open Cortana, or Cortana, open Alexa, and take advantage of what they do uh, what they each do best, um, and they've they've said it's like playing telephone with all of your is, virtual yeah, assistants, just give you the right? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's it's kind of a fascinating thing, and I know Caleb, like you, or you have kind of followed along with everything that Alexa has been doing with Amazon, and especially yeah. in, you know on the home devices and audio, the whole works that they're doing. What do you think about this? Well, first of all, Alexa is going into. Like everything. Yeah. In addition to IFA, you know, where we're seeing all these uh, smart speakers and um, and other devices that mm -hmm. they're sticking Alexa in, um, Alexa is going into a ton of uh, connected home stuff um, that uh, we're going to see at this custom uh, design and installation show next week. Cedia, it's called. Oh yeah, um, we I saw mean, that at CES. Like it was at CES. It was, was a talk right. the show last yeah. year. It seemed like a, it seemed like it was really happening then. Yeah. But I'm telling you, every press release yep. that's coming across my desk for the last three weeks is about Alexa in this, Alexa in right. that. You know, there's uh, that. Uh, company iHome, they make you know pretty popular, <laughs> commonplace uh, uh, products that you see at Target and Walmart, yeah. right? So a lot of people buy them because uh, they're easy to access. Right. They and have an alarm. It's a catchy name. They have an alarm clock. You know, it's an alarm clock radio with Alexa built into it. It's uh, and it's totally. I think it's like 150 bucks. It's a great little product that uh, you know. Imagine just telling Alexa to set your alarm instead of 
uh, having to actually go and physically set the alarm. You know, yeah. I mean, a lot of us do that with our phones now, but for those people who are uh, dedicated to having, you know, a clock in the room or whatever. Right. I think that's cool. Um, also, you can tell Alexa to snooze, you know, and just you never have to reach over and um, wake up your significant or other or whatever. But man, did I go off the rails here? Alexa's and everything. <laughs> so started getting kind of personal. I like it. I no, I started using go. Alexa to uh, launch uh, TV shows and movies on my Fire TV. Um, which that's I, pretty great. Way more uh, useful than I thought because I can be in the middle of cooking and tell Alexa to launch a show that my daughter wants to watch, and I don't have to go anywhere or touch anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's it's laziness incarnate, but I love it. It's, yeah. It makes me feel all futuristic and stuff. Like we're getting a little <laughs> bit closer to the uh, whole Jetson situation. So instead of lazy, just call it efficient. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Thank it's you. Efficient. Way to stand up. It's for advanced. Me. Thank you, Rick. Exactly. Advanced. Well, now it's it's gonna like I said, Cortana and Alexa. You know. Uh, working together, and Satya Nadella actually basically made a comment that they invite Siri and Google Home to kind of join them and participate in this, which I just think is a really it's it's an interesting thing. It's also kind of scary that all of these if all these companies team up together, I mean they basically rule the world separately already. Um, I feel like they're gonna like gathering in a bunker somewhere. It's some like Legion of Doom thing with all four of them, <laughs> you know, gathering each of their uh, AIs together. No, no Greg, probably, <laughs> pro- probably not. <laughs> But <laughs> but hey, you never know. You never, you never know. know. You never know. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting way to work a, work around this and just seeing how this AI is. Right. So what does Cortana do that Alexa? Yeah, does that that's different. Uh, yeah, I mean, like why would you ever Windows pull... Ten? <laughs> that's I don't yeah, know. And why would yeah. you play digital telephone uh, just to do it? You e- know? Email is one of the examples that they gave. Um, you know, if you're using Outlook, I guess for your email Cortana or Hotmail, perhaps. Hot, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Hotmail account. Yeah, yeah, that might work. Yeah, yeah I yeah. mean, and that is a good point, though. I mean, because really, Alexa's kind of taking over. Over everything, but I, th- I think it's more talking about just the computer well, and and using what Alexa doesn't that. have right now is a lot of stuff that um, good jokes. Google Home. <laughs> yeah, good jokes. <laughs> no, go- Google Home has the power of Google, the search engine behind it. So yeah. if you yeah. want information or you need an answer to something, Google Home's a lot better at it than Alexa is. Right now, Alexa can access Wikipedia pages, and that's it. It talks uh-huh. out. So there. now, where is Google get- pulling from, though? Google. Google. You mean dude. Cortana? Bing. Right? Oh, Cortana. I think Cortana would pull from Microsoft, which would be Bing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they all pull. I think they both pull from Wikipedia, essentially, though. No, no I Google. mean, Google, Google will find that the great thing about Google is it'll find the top result for a uh, given search and it will read that out to you. You know, mm-hmm. if you search uh, okay, yeah, yeah, on saying. Google for something, you get the quick clip at the top and mm-hmm. basically tells you everything you need to know, like um, how do I remove formatting and in Word or whatever. But right. not the sponsored ads, though. Like, it would no. be, like, the legit first Like, one. the yeah. legit, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I know you mean. <laughs> would you like to learn more about like, P90X? Like, no! Um, what? <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, I think that, uh, I think that in a partnership with Microsoft, Siri could gain a lot of knowledge and smarts. And also, yeah. you know, if uh, your home runs on a network of PCs and having those two things work together, you could do mm-hmm. all kinds of things with that. So if you're not near your yeah. Alexa, I guess, you could tell Cortana. Because I was like, when would you ever tell Cortana to tell Alexa to do something? But I guess if you're not by... You're um, like, yeah. You're talking that's a good point. So you could talk into your computer yeah. and it would access Cortana Alexa, tell Alexa in a different play. room or something. Yeah, I suppose that there's something, it sounds, something on there. It's, it's complicated. complicated. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it sounds like a lot of work, but I, I just don't know where they're going with this. Maybe it isn't until eventually they become one cohesive kind of AI. Skynet? Everybody's, yeah. Maybe. This is a boon for Cortana. <laughs> Because See? I think oh, told you my Legion of Doom thing makes <laughs> sense now. No. Alexa's more like more powerful, I would think. So this is like yeah. better for Cortana to just like ride the coattails of Alexa to wherever right. they're headed. Yeah, I then for Alexa to, to get Cortana on it because that just doesn't really matter that much. But it's huge for Cortana people to have mm-hmm. access to that like library of stuff that Alexa does. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see where it goes. I mean, regardless, you will see Alexa in every device pretty soon. I'm, I'm sure it will be. Um, all right. We've got, uh, we're about out of time, but I do want to play one more thing just here at the end. And this is really not a whole lot tech oriented. Well, I guess kind of, uh, but it has to do with drones. <laughs> and I wanted to play just a video. This is great. If you're watching it live right now, uh, this is a uh, guy who decided why I don't entirely know to create a track attach a katana blade onto it upright, um, power it with a rocket, and slam it into a drone that is hovering at the end of totally the track. What is he wearing? It's, uh, I don't know. I think it's his homemade, <laughs> homemade uh, samurai deed. outfit. I, I'm not really sure you, you, what you he's got there. You clip the guy with the gavel and the wig in the beginning of the video. Too. Oh, yeah. There is there is that in the beginning of it. Uh, so this guy's name is David Wendestall. And, uh, oh. Yeah. And so it's, 
<laughs> there's, again, there's no reason for this mm. other than he he wanted to. He calls it rocket knife. Um, he said the idea was to recreate okay. the Mythbusters episode where they cut a car in half using a rocket sled, and uh, he was inspired by that, so he wanted to cut a drone in half, and they almost did it. They were wow. almost able to cut the drone in half, but it didn't quite work. It's a costly endeavor. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Although now found. he's probably had so many views on this YouTube clip yeah. that maybe it's paid for it itself. Uh, but yeah, I just I just wanted to show that I think that's awesome. An awesome <laughs> use of katana blades. Um, Can we right. get Star Wars yeah. kid again? <laughs> yeah, I know. I was kind of circling back around to the lightsabers. What well, happens Lenovo, if we get if Star Wars like kid a katana blade? I bet oh, that God. guy could slice a drone or two. D- if you fall down the, the Star Wars kid train on YouTube, I mean, there's <laughs> so many videos with dubbed in lightsabers and things that he's fighting. I mean, it's it's amazing. <laughs> You'll lose some time doing that. Anyway, I'm talking too much about that. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning into Trends with Benefits. We really do appreciate it. We do this show live every Thursday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific on Facebook and YouTube. And then it goes up as a podcast. So make sure to check that out. And everything that we talked about today, there are articles on digitaltrends.com to see all of those. Um, subscribe on iTunes and check out all of our other podcasts and everything we've got going on here. And thanks for watching. Uh, Lenovo sent me the Star Wars thing. And we'll be back next week with another episode. <laughs> yeah, we need to test it out. So we really do need to.